So we're going to do a little performance demo. And who doesn't like a little performance demo, right? So I have a few very nice machines back in a lab in California that one of our partners was nice enough to uh, let us access from here. And we're going to do a little I.O. demo. First, we're going to do 8K I.O.s going to disk. So I have 16 different instances of SQL I.O. hitting a file server that has a mirrored space, single mirrored space comprised of 48 SSDs. Okay? With six SHBAs. Trivial stuff. And I want you to pay attention to this number. So I'm doing nearly 600. Come on, past the 600. Go, go, go. Yes. It didn't do it. It was really close. Come on. So I'm going to go ahead and freeze it here so I can zoom in. Oh, I can't zoom on this one. Never mind. But we're doing a healthy. Oh, it did. It hit. Ah, 600. Yeah. All right. 600,000 IOs per second. This is coming from disk, random reads. And interesting thing, in 2012, I could only do that if I had an OSSD configuration, right? Now, with tiering, I might be able to hit that with a mix of SSDs and HDDs, right? If my hot data is in the right place, OK? That's a great number. That's a higher number than we could do before. But let's try something different. I'm going to stop this, and I'm going to use cached IOs. So I'm going to go client talking to server over the network. But instead of going to disk, I'm going to actually go just to memory. See what I mean? Jose, is that realistic? Yes, it is. If you're doing CSV caching, caching that's some of what you do. I mean, it might not be for the entire workload. I just want to show you the capability of the stack here. 992, three, it's not going to hit a thousand. I'm actually entirely CPU bound at this point. I'm doing nearly 1 million remote IOs per second. Do you know what the number there is latency? It's this. We are doing a million IOs at 8K, and my latency is so small that Perfmon tells me it's zero. It's actually not zero. It's less than one millisecond. It's, a, it's about 200 microseconds, I believe. I did? Yeah. Yay! I hit a million for a second there. Did you see it? Yeah. All right. That was the goal. It doesn't always, you know. I'm doing 16 different. Uh, processes there, so they kind of have to hit just right. But you see, that's the kind of stuff that we couldn't do before because we weren't optimizing for those small IOs, right? And now, I mean, a million is, is like a, a mythical number, right? It doesn't mean anything. Most people tell me that their workloads need 100, 200,000 IOs per second. That's about it. In fact, someone told me once that if I could do more than 700,000 IOPS, I would be in the same league with the highest, you know, the biggest arrays out there. So a million is just a number. But what we're doing here, we're actually investing in this stack to make it extremely efficient. And I'll, and I'll say it up front. Do we actually need to use RDMA for Hyper-V over SMB to work? No, you don't. You can do it with one gig NICs. That's fine. We can only hit the high numbers with, with these. And I have one more number to show, which is this one. The number is the throughput number. We used to hit this throughput number. This throughput number means I'm, I have three high-speed NICs. I have three 56 gig NICs, uh, Mellanox Connect X3 NICs in this system, right? They, in theory, can hit a number that about that big, right? And that's about what we're hitting. So we're 
nearly line rate. I used to be, used, uh, to be capable of doing that with 512 KIO, later 128 KIO. We're doing it now with 32 KIO, coming from disk. So this is not cache, this is a storage space mirrored with those SSDs traveling over the network to the other side and doing 16 and a half gigabytes a second. For perspective, 16 and a half gigabytes a second is 15, 10 gig nicks, right? It's 28 gig fiber channel nicks, okay? Look at the latency at 32K, one millisecond, okay? So that's what we're talking about. That's the configuration we're having there. Three high-speed RDMA NICs going to store spaces, six SHBAs, and uh, 48 SSDs. 